Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 19th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the if statement in Perl. So the if statement is uh, one of the most uh, important concepts in programming if not the most important concept in programming. And I'm not just talking uh, you know about uh, the if statement in Perl but I'm talking about the if statement in general because you know you pick a programming language and you would have uh, the if statement uh, you know in it and uh, it's a decision construct and what I mean by that is it helps you make decisions so you know I am going to demonstrate the syntax of if statement and I'm going to explain what it does uh, through a very simple example so I've got a script here that's called if and uh, in this script on line number three I have created a scalar variable called x and uh, currently it has the value 20 right that's the value that I've assigned to this now let's say you want to check whether the value in x is an even number or not and if it is an even number then you want Perl to do something for you so first of all you would have to write a condition that uh, checks you know whether uh, this number you know the value in x is even or not and you do that using the modulo operator or the percent symbol so you know you type the name of your scalar variable which in our case is uh, x so dollar x and then you type the percent symbol which is the modulo operator and then you type the divisor right so we are going to divide the value in x by 2 and we're going to see if the remainder of the operation is uh, 0 or not. So if the number is even then the remainder would have to be 0 and if it is not even then the remainder can be anything right. So uh, the next thing uh, you know after typing the divisor is to check you know for uh, equality whether uh, the remainder is zero or not and you do that using two equal to symbols and not one you know this is something that you have to note and uh, people who programmed in other languages would find this you know very easy to understand but uh, it can be a little confusing because if you would type one equal to symbol then it would be like an assignment you know something that we're doing on line number three but we don't want to do that we want to check whether the LHS here is equal to RHS or not and we do that using two equal to symbols so this m prepares our condition right this is what we want to do but the if statement allows us to take an action on the basis of the output that we get here so if this condition is going to evaluate to true then we are going to do something and if it's not going to evaluate to true if it's going to be false then we are not going to do anything right that's all that if statement allows us so to decide uh, you have to make your condition and you have to put it within parentheses and pass it to the if statement and then whatever action you want to take you have to put all that code within a set of curly braces and this set of curly braces forms your if block right so my if block starts at line number six and it ends at line number eight and within this if block I just have one statement which is a print statement that I have on line number seven and uh, if this is going to be true then basically we have to display x is even and if it's not going to be true then we are not doing anything right and uh, instead of having just one statement here you could have a bunch of statements you could have five print statements and all of them would work and uh, if this value is to false then if is just not going to execute the code between the curly braces and it's going to pass the functionality to line number nine and since we don't have any more code in the script you know if it's true then it's going to show this if it's false then it's going to do nothing right so I'll make sure the script is saved I'll press F5 to run it and there we go we see that X is even because it has the value 20 and I'm going to change this to 23 save the file and run the script again and now we see that Perl hasn't displayed anything because there is no code that it can run and it just tells me press any key to continue so uh, 